Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this Skyrim like combos. So to create this, you need two textures. Both of them I created in Inkscape. So first one is just a, a regular frame. So just a rectangle with a stroke path like this. And the second one is just a rectangle and I added a letter like W and align this to the center. And then duplicate this like this and change this to north and so on it is important to make this color make the background color black we are going to use that for the opacity mask so uh, if you are making it transparent then we have to make a little adjustment to the material. I will show you uh, later. So now go to Unreal Engine. Import the two textures. So you have this letters texture and this frame texture. One important thing to do is that change the compression settings to user interface 2D and change the texture group to UI and also do that here. Then right click and create material, then open it up, then change the material domain to user interface and the blend mode to transparent. We are not going to change the blend mode to opaque because uh, we are going to use the opacity and not the opacity mask. So we are going to create a slight fade effect for our letters. So now connect this to final color and connect this to opacity since our background color is uh, black uh, it will work as the opacity so if we had a transparent background then you have to connect the alpha to the opacity so now get a texture coordinate node by by pressing u and clicking so we get the texture coordinate node then press and hold A and click so we get this add node and connect this here and connect this here now right click and type in append and connect this to B now we are going to create two scalar variables or parameters to pan the texture around so now we will create the U offset and B offset to pan the material around so right click and type in scalar parameter and connect this to a and i will change this to u offset and i will press and hold s and click so with this another scalar parameter so connect this to b and i will change this to v offset So now if I uh, change the U offset, we can uh, pan this uh, texture around like this. So we are going to use this to control the movement of, of our compass. So now we are going to create the fade effect so that all other direction other than the ones we are facing gets faded out a bit so for that drag from here and type in plus so we get this add node then change this b value to minus 0.5 so this looks like this now drag from here and type in linear gradient so we get this linear gradient 
Now drag from uh, U gradient and type in cos. So we get this. So we are going to use this to fade out everything that is not in the center. So we are just going to multiply this with the opacity and the cosine value. So we get something like this. So only the middle letters is visible and all the other one is faded out. So now click apply and save. So now we will create our frame texture. You can actually add the frame texture here and blend them together. But it will uh, use a lot of nodes like add and multiply etc. So I am just going to create a separate material for the frame. So create material then open it up. This is very simple. Just change this to mask and change the material domain to user interface and connect this to final color and connect this to opacity mask I actually have uh, a little bit of transparent background in the middle of the in the middle of the texture that I have so we can actually change the uh, blend mode to translucent so we get that nice fading effect in the middle so now we will create our HUD so So right click and user interface widget blueprint I will name this HUD Combus. So now open up the HUD then uh, drag and drop the frame material in then I will uh, resize it like this. And anchor it there so it stays fixed regardless of the screen size then I will drag and drop the letter material then place that here and just resize it like this and anchor it there compile So let's add our HUD to the player. So go to first person blueprint, blueprint, first person character. Then here just get a sequence node and I will show you. So drag and type in sequence and connect this here and drag from here and type in create widget then I will change this to HUD Gombus the one we have created so HUD Gombus then drag from here and type in get player controller then drag from uh, return and type in add to viewport Now we have our new Combus added to the viewport. So as you can see it is not working. Let's fix that. So for that go into the Combus HUD and go to graph and don't construction. So this image is our letter. Right. So this is the letter one. So name that to letter. Then go to graph and drag that in. So now drag from here and type in get dynamic material and connect this here and promote this to a variable. 
I will name this Combus. Then drag the event tick here. Then type in get player pawn. So we get our player pawn. Now drag and type in get controller rotation and right click and break it so we only need the rotation in the C direction so that is uh, whichever rotation the player is making like this so we don't need the Y or the X rotation just the C rotation so the C axis is the up axis so we are rotating on it right now so we will divide this by 360 so a 360 degree is a full rotation so divide this by 360 degree so now drag and drop this and get and type in set scalar parameter value and connect this to event tick and connect the value here so and the parameter name is so here we named this u offset so change that to u offset compile and let's see if this is working or not so now you can see that it is working so that's all there is to it uh, let us increase the size of this one a bit so So now it is working fine. So that's all there is to it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.